Um... Houston? What's wrong with this picture? Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I am an old guy gaming, and we play this game on insane difficulties. I'm sure I'll set the nightmare speed. And we have a hell of a fun time doing it. Also, we are now on... Uh, build 173. And Fun Pimps did say that we really should start over again um, with 173. As of right now... Good lord, here. We're using the wrong tool for the job here. As of right now... Oh! <laughs> I had to die for every time, right? Um... There we go. We popped him. Um, we're not going to start over yet. We're going to see how things go. And uh, if we run into major issues, we might have to think about starting over. The thing is, is you know the pimps are going to be coming out with with um, stable probably pretty soon. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what the planned date on that is. Uh, if you guys know, let me know in the comments too, by the way. But... Uh, uh, what I don't want to do is start over and then have to start over again, like right after that. You know what I'm saying? So I think we really need to try and just continue on this save all the way until stable as, as much as we can. Unless things are so severely broken that it's just not working. Now, one of the problems that I ran into uh, on the multiplayer server, I played a little bit on Saturday. And I'm actually going to play on the multiplayer server again tonight was I was having some really severe uh, frame issues. Um, and, you know, that's kind of been a problem for me all along in Alpha 19 anyways. But, I mean, it seemed like it was even worse after the after the update. So, um, let's look at that for a minute in terms of my graphics settings. See, so right now I've got... pretty much have everything on medium right now. So I think for for the moment anyways... I'm going to keep it on medium and we'll see how it does. And, um, you know, it does make the textures not, not so great, but we'll just give it a try. And, you know, if, if, it, if it's really bothering me, we might try to go back up to high with a few tweaks. But I just, you know, just been having a hard see. It's even starting to get framey now just walking over here. But you can see the textures on the cars look like shit on medium. It's just, it's terrible. I have, I, and it's all outdoor stuff too. You know, I don't have any problem at all um, indoors. I can, I can turn the game all the way up to ultra indoors and be just fine. But it's, you know, it's the trees, it's the grass, it's all that kind of thing. Um, and you know, I have tried the dynamic resolution um, a couple of different times, and that doesn't really do anything. I mean, it makes everything look like shit for one thing because the frames are tanking. But it doesn't stop the frames from tanking. So whatever the issue is, it doesn't have anything to do with that dynamic resolution setting. So anyway, um, that's just kind of where things are at. So we'll, we'll proceed right now um, with uh, this save. And hopefully we'll be able to continue um, to play on it without real major, major issues. Oh man, I am not on my game today. Edgar? There you go. Ronald McDonald's over there. Let's see if we can pop Ronald McDonald in the head. There we go. Okay, so, um... What I did off camera... Sorry, guys, I'm <laughs> a little scatterbrained today. Um, I just, I got a lot of stuff on my mind. I've got work stuff on my mind. I got other things on my mind. Not, not, not bad stuff. You know, it's just, I'm a little, a little preoccupied is all. Um, so anyway, what I did off camera, I think it, where were we at? I think we might've been up here when, uh, in the last episode it was either here or here. I can't remember. It was probably here where we did that house, um, in the last episode. And then after I left you guys, I, I, I kind of dipped up into the wasteland and I turned right back around and came back out. Um, guys, the wasteland is freaking scary now. And and 
one of the main reasons why it's scary is you can't see anymore. It's all like hazed over. Um, and I was getting attacked by vultures almost instantly because, you know, I was on a motorcycle. But, I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna try the wasteland out at some point in Alpha 19. You know, just go into it and see what it's really like. But just the very short time I got in there, I couldn't see anything at all. I was getting attacked. Part of the problem, I think, too, is just a little tiny bit of this area seemed to be the burn biome. So I don't know if that's what was causing the smoke haze to come in. But anyways, I turned around and then just started kind of following this road to the west here. Uh, went out into the actual burn biome. It looks like we have a pretty sizable, I don't know if this is a city or a town, but here again, they really made it hard to see in in the burn biome. Um, you know, with all the smoke. The smoke actually looks really good. It looks very realistic, but you can't see a damn thing. I mean, it's <laughs> really hard to see very far at all uh, in that biome. And I suppose that's appropriate. So I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing. It's just makes it kind of tough to see, you know, what's going on there. Um, and then I just kind of cut cross country over to here and then followed this road down to here and then cut cross country again, you know, to, to I think I hit the road here back up to the main road. And then I went home and dropped off a bunch of stuff and grabbed my desert garb and installed and, and followed this highway back down to the south. And when I got this far, I kind of looked out on the horizon and I thought, hmm, that could be the desert. So I think I'll stop here. And then when we start the next episode, we'll pick up here. And that was actually a, a several days ago in real life, by the way. So I've been playing a lot of Imperion Galactic Survival. Uh, I do a, a Let's Play series on that, shameless plug time. Um, and I also started a, a tutorial series for new players. And so uh, that's kept me uh, preoccupied for quite a bit. Um, but, you know, we're going to keep this series going too. It, it might, I might not be able to, to release daily videos moving forward. I will try the best that I can, but it might be something like more every other day. We'll just see how things go. The tutorial series that I'm doing is temporary though. So once that's over, then, you know, I'll kind of get back to a normal, a normal routine. Okay. So anyway, the plan for this episode is to go down this road and hopefully we will run into a desert. And if we do, then we're going to mile, my, my, mine a bunch of oil shale. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed this in a couple a couple of videos ago. Uh, I haven't gotten any comments on it, um, but I thought I had looted the gas can schematic. But when I was editing the video later on, I noticed that it wasn't the gas can schematic that I looted. It was the frickin' large gas can mod for the power tools. So that means that we still can make gas though anyway uh wait a minute okay hold on it d can we make this because of advanced engineering or grease monkey tinkerer workbenches do 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 do, do craft forges craft glue cheaper is it grease monkey craft for wheels bikes parts yeah i don't know maybe Maybe we did learn it at some point, but what I learned in that episode, what it, what it actually was, was it was the, it was the mod. So it was the mod that, um, this one, which one here, motor, motor two large tank mod. That's what I actually found in that video, not the gas can schematic, but I apparently know the gas can schematic too. I'm not sure how I do. Um, it's either because I learned it or maybe in alpha 19 they just you just automatically can do it once you have a kim bench i am not sure about that but it does appear that i can do it because this is lighted up so okay well that's good news <laughs> that's good news um so let's go ahead and hop on the bike and continue heading south and hopefully we run into a desert i'm kind of thinking we probably are going to do that here maybe i don't know i still see evergreen trees that way though Hmm. <laughs> um, Houston, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> All right, so guys, we found. The frozen desert. 
<laughs> oh man, that is weird. That is really weird. Um Okay. So not quite sure what to think about that. <laughs> kill Hawaii 5 -0 here because he tried to burp on us when we, when we ran by. Rude of him. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. Do we get somebody else's attention? Alright, whatever. I'm not worried about them. Okay, so, um... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our clothing because we're getting hot, as you can see. So let's put that on and that on. And hopefully between the two of those things, it takes away the heat. Yep. Okay, good. That did um, mess us up there, so we should... Well, I can I can move those over later if we need to. Not going to worry about that yet. So, okay, let's... Um... Let's start riding around here. Um, what we're looking for, of course, is oil shell. There's a coyote. And ideally, it would be actually best to find one right next to the border, just so, you know, we don't have to go too terribly far into the desert. So there's one right there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this can become our oil shale mine. Plus there's a nitrate next to it too. So double, double bonus there. Now, when I mine in the desert in this game, I don't bother trying to make a, a mine, you know, an, an underground cave mine. I'm just, I just do strip mining because the sand is so unstable that it, you know, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to keep it from caving in without going to great lengths, which I don't want to do. I just want to mine, get my shit, and go. And so, you know, that means I should have probably brought my junk turt with me, but I didn't think about it, so, so much for that idea, right? Um, But, you know, we've got an automatic shotgun, so if we get rushed, I think we'll probably be okay, maybe. <laughs> so, um, let's go ahead and eat a boiled meat so that we get that uh, extra stamina buff. We're going to throw back a java, and we're going to chow down on a rock busters. And let's go ahead and get ourselves some oil shale. Alright guys, we are uh, finished mining. We got uh, a full stack of oil shell, plus 323 more, uh, about a half stack of stone, um, and d d d d d nitrate. We got about 300 nitrate because we, we hit the, the vein over here. Um, so I just mined long enough for until my rock biters wore out. And so now we need to... Um, head on out of here. I also leveled once and I put the point into perception uh, and into salvage operations. I'm also going to bump up Lucky and I'm going to bump up Deadeye and Demolitions too uh, with the next three points that we get. Uh, but I wanted to go with salvage first because um, at present I'm relying upon salvage operations to get steel. And um, get that thing out of the way. So, you know, I wanted to, to bump up that a little bit better with uh, with better salvage operations. Those trees are funny, man. I don't know if that's a result of me continuing to play on an older save after the fun pimp said not to, or if it's an actual problem <laughs> with build 173. It's really funny, though. Really funny. Okay, um, whilst we're in the desert, can I make bandages? Uh, first aid bandages. It looks like I can, because um, I think we probably got that ability when we learned level one of physician. First aid bandages. Okay, so while we're here, it would actually behoove us to pick some um, some aloe. Um, so I'm gonna go around and just punch a bunch of aloe aloe plants before uh, we head back. Our kind of more important upcoming goal, though, is we need to. We need to start getting ready for the next horde. 
And that really means two things. It means that we need to get our hatches upgraded to steel. And it means that we need to blow Darlene's head off. And it also means that we need to um, start working on getting some electric fences because my plan for Horde 35 is to have electric fences s assist us with um, the Zekers in the tunnel. Now, what that's going to do, it's going to do a couple of things. It's going to cause damage to them, but it's also going to help, uh, you know, provide a stun lock effect on them so that they are doing less damage to our base, to, to, to the hatches in particular. They don't really seem to be too terribly concerned about hitting the sidewalls, which is a good thing. Um, and, uh, you know, and have the electric fences assist us along with upgrading to steel. And I think that if we do those two things, we should probably be okay on Horde Knight 35. So we, one way or the other, I have got to get um, enough steel to make all of those upgrades. And, uh, again, the only way that I have to do that at present is to... Did they change the way Yucca plants look? I think they did. That's a new model there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's grab it. Um, it is to salvage. So I'm, I, you know, I have a lot of off-camera salvaging time in my in my very near future. <laughs> um, so anyway, I don't know why I'm punching rocks. Quit punching rocks. We're supposed to be punching aloe vera plants. Um, yeah, man, my frames are terrible. See, it, if I put them, all, okay, they're at 60 now. Well, I don't actually have so much of a frame rate problem. I've got a bad stuttering problem going through here. And I'm even on medium graphics. You know, guys, my machine, by the way, I, you know, I've got two 1080 cards on SLI. Now, I know 7 Days to Die doesn't use SLI, at least I don't think it does. But even a single 1080 card is still a pretty decent card. It's a little bit on the old side, but it's not so old that it shouldn't be able to handle this game without any trouble at all, at least on, you know, on high settings. So whatever the issue is, I don't think it's my machine. I think it's the game. Or maybe just the way they go. Oh, shit! Oh, my God, that scared me. <laughs> I just about stepped on a rattlesnake. Ooh. Oh, man, that scared the hell out of me. Um, there we go. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, um, I, I mean, I, I think it is my machine in the sense that there's something in the drivers uh, with my particular computer that's not driving well with the game, but it's not a matter of my machine not being adequate is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and I did recently update my graphics drivers, but I probably should do that again because I'm sure NVIDIA has come out with another, you know, another release since I did that last, it was probably, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago. So I guess I could try that next to see if that helps at all. But, you know, I did do that right when they first came out with Alpha 19 and I started having these problems and it didn't help at that point in time. So I'm not holding out a lot of faith that that'll make a difference, but it could, you know, I suppose it could. Um, so yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's very irritating because, you know, I just like the graphics. I mean, the graphics are so, so nice in Alpha 19, but yeah, that's, that's just wasting bullets. <laughs> um, you know, it's just, we're having so much trouble with the frame rates and all that. So it's irritating as all get out. But anyway, all right, well, I'm going to just stay here in the desert for a bit and continue to uh, punch aloe so we get a nice little supply of those so that I can make some more bandages. And then probably what I'm going to do after that, guys, is I'm going to start working my way back home, but I'm going to stop and hit every single lamppost along the way that I can, um, and transformer and fake vending machine and solar panels and all the things that you know can potentially give us steel uh, so that we can get ourselves enough steel to get everything upgraded and then after that the focus like I said is going to be on getting some electric fences uh, set up and that's partly why I came down here to get gasoline because now we're gonna have to run a generator and we want to want to make sure we have plenty of fuel but the other probably even more important reason is that the motorcycle uses a lot more fuel than the mini bike does so you know we need we need, a, we need a pretty good supply of that, too. So I will see you uh, back probably at the base at some point in the near future, and we will go from there. All right, guys, we're back, and look what I found. The next trader. <laughs> I found every single trader 
uh, before the quest actually sent me to them. How funny is that? Okay, so this is Trader Joel. Um, here, before we go up there, let's look at his stations. 29 gunpowder. Um, I'm still down in the the same town by the desert. Um, basically, I went this way, up this street. There was a, run, a running horde that came through, so I went down the road a little further from them and then just sniped them all. Uh, and then I hit two lampposts and one um, fake vending machine on this street. And then I turned to come down this way, and that's where I saw the trader. Uh, t so far, we got a, a seven pieces of steel, uh, among other things from the um, from the salvaging. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to take that stuff. What's in here? Nothing. Oh, it actually works though. Not that that matters to us, but okay. Let's see what um, Trader Joel has. I don't think there's anything else significant in this trader to loot. Uh, so we'll just check his inventory really quick. Um, if he has steel, I think I'm just going to outright buy it I've got from him, too. Deals in I am... Oh, look at him, man. His model looks really good. <laughs> That's a nice improvement. Um, what I'm saying is... I mean, we, we can make money like crazy whenever we want to, so I, I think the steel is the most more important thing, so if he has it, we're going to buy it. But let's first see what else he has. Robotic Sledge, Lucky Looter, Volume 6, Find More Food and Loot. Let's take that by virtue of the fact that, oh, you know Maybe what? Next time, I've got, um, Survivor. I've got some, um, who's the was it's in here? You know, the, the candy stuff, these. So let's grab one of those. Let's see what else he's got. So he's got steel leg armor, but it's yellow. Uh, and, I, and what we're wearing, I think we're wearing iron, but it's it's purple, so we got the four slots. Um, so, okay, I'm interested in that. Maybe the Grave Digger mod. Do I have that already? Oh, I do. Okay, yeah, so we don't need that. Uh, Ranger's Guide to Archery, 20% more arrows and bolts from your target. I would probably buy that, too, uh, because we are probably going to do archery and stealth later on. <sighs> SWAT helmet, but again, it's yellow. It doesn't have the slots. Okay, let's look at his overall inventory. Steel is what we really want. I already know that shock. Oh, look at that. There's our nerdies. Okay, we're buying those for sure. Finally found some nerdies. And he's got steel too. Okay. He's saying you. So let's pop this. We've already got the um We've already got the um Cigar in. Okay, yep. It's I think been that's a it. Real pleasure. You uh, watch yourself out there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bother taking a job from him right now, uh, because we're we're quite a ways along uh, with our tier threes with the traders that we already are working for. So, um. We'll just kind of wait until we hit four, maybe, before we do that. Okay, so I'm going to start wearing these all the time. Um, and we'll keep the loot the luckies with us for fat loots, but otherwise we're going to wear the nerdies because that's going to give us two things. It's going to give us an extra point in um, intellect. So we have an effective extra point there, which means we could if we wanted to. Um, nope, I guess we can't take those. Oh, we could do another Daring Adventure if we wanted to. But probably the bigger reason why I'm going to wear those as my main eyewear is because of the 10% XP gain. Especially when we wear these on Horde Night, we really get uh, we, we get a nice little buff there. Okay, so that's it for Trader Joel. And we obtained... Uh, how many more, many more steel? 30. So we have a total of 30 now. We had seven before, so I'm going to check all the other traders too, of course, and buy any steel that they might have. Incidentally, I got 15 um, aloe creams out of all the aloe plants that we picked in the desert. The desert with the snowy trees. Uh, let's put that in there. Um, I found these in, in, in a car. We got some landmines, so we might put those to, to good use. 
And um, you know what, though? I should probably keep these on for salvaging, because I think they do have somewhat of an effect on salvaging. Could be wrong about that, but I think they do. Um, okay, let's put the yucca and the coffee back in there. All right, guys. Well, um, here again, I'm just going to keep driving around. Uh, I'm going to comb this entire town looking for um, street lamps and vending machines and everything I can get steel from. And then once I'm finished here, then we'll head back. Uh, to our town and I am going to stop off at the other three traders uh, well actually we have a total of how many traders do we know now we have Trader Joel we got two gens we've got Hugh and we've got um, Dickweed over here what's his name Rex Trader Rex so we actually have five traders uncovered that's pretty good so I'm going to make the rounds to all of them too and buy up whatever steel they have we still got have 12,000 coins so we've got quite a bit of, you know, quite a bit of money on us right now. All right, I will bring you back later with an update on where we're at. All right, guys, I'm back, and I'm in kind of in trouble here. <laughs> I, I found this um, obstacle course place um, because there's like four light posts in here uh, to get the steel. And as soon as I, like, went down there, um, it just woke up a crap ton of zombies, including like an irradiated biker. If you look on the left hand side, you can see I'm kind of messed up right now. <laughs> so I'm, I've got the ladder here blocked as the Zeeks just keep coming up, but man, I sure entered a hornet's nest here. I, uh, I should have started the recording earlier, but I was too busy trying to survive. <laughs> so I'm just kind of hoping that things calm down a little bit so I can just get the hell out of here. Um, I'm getting sort of kind of low on shotgun shells too, so that's not good. Whew, okay, um, what do we got going on down here? So I want to get to those lead posts. I mean, we went to all the trouble to come in here, so... We're going to do it, by golly, but man, we are in trouble. We got some kind of ailments too. I don't even know what that... Oh, it's a broken arm. Ooh, not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. And a sprained leg and an infection. Yay. I don't think I have any um, antibiotics with me on the road. I'm, I've got some back at the base, of course. Uh, oh, you know what? I do have honey, though, on the bike. So, yeah, okay. We'll be able to take care of that as long as we get back to our bike before it reaches five minutes. So, um, let's jump down here and get up here really quick. I've also been attacked by Larry the Lumberjack a few hundred times and a, a, a mountain lion. Because what I thought I would do is... Here, let's pause the game. I thought I would come... Well, I guess we can't pause the game and do the map. <clears throat> this is where I left you last in this town, and then I came east. And I'm waiting for the trader to wake up so I can go see if he's got any steel. So in the meanwhile, I've just been kind of going around this town hitting a more lamppost. Oh, but boy, this place. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was, I, I was just sneaking around, and then something triggered, and then they just exploded. Uh, so anyway, we've got 78 steel right now, um, so not too bad. It looks like we may have um, taken care of, hopefully, the, the worst of the Zika Ruskies. Oh, jeez. That was crazy. Right. Let's deal with these morons. Okay. We got rid of all the rest of them. There's a bunch of loot here, man. Check that out. But, yeah, I mean, we've got four four lampposts in here, and that's that's why I came in here. I've never been in this POI either. This is, like, totally new uh, to me. And I saw these lampposts, and I'm going, stay hell. <laughs> so I come in here, and then it's like, all hell breaks loose. Oh, man, I'm sorry I didn't catch that on camera, guys. I should have, but like I said, I was just too busy trying to keep from dying, man. It got intense. Maybe we'll we'll go ahead and maybe do this POI again uh, at some point in the near future so we can actually, you know, see what it's all about. But, yeah, this is like a training, a training bunker or something. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
also... Yeah, look at all that loot there. Well, let's get the, this final lamp post first. Hopefully we don't wake up any more Zeeks. Let's see what's in the army truck here. Uh, we'll eat that. And we'll take those two things. Oh, by the way, I um, found a green machete and an orange pick. I think... I went to the junkyard in the other town and broke open the safe, and that's where I found this, and I think I found this in a car. I can't actually remember, to be honest with you, but we did find those things as we have been going along here. So, nice little improvements. Okay, let's get this steel here. The, the trader's open, too, so when we're done here, we'll go... Check out Trader Wrecked, and hopefully he's got a bunch of steel we can buy too, because we're getting close. Excuse me, we are getting close. So the bad news is we don't have a lot of room for stuff. Let's open the ammo pile. That gets us um, some shotgun shells back, which is good. All right, we'll give up the jars for this. Let's drink the water. Just drink all of it. One spring is insignificant. We'll scrap that. Kind of like to keep the baton parts. That's probably all I'm really willing to give up. We could make... Do I have any cloth on me. I don't have any cloth on me. Uh, you know what? Let's check that. We've got plenty of fat back at the base. We don't need that either. Okay, so this is locked. Not a problem. We do have lock picks. Plenty of them. Let's check these guys first. That's just a cobblestone block there. Okay, more shotgun parts. That's good. Four spans. I'm not taking the plastic. Oh, look at that. Marksman rifle. Hmm. And I want the bow parts, too, for later, so... Let's drink a coffee. That'll help keep us warm anyway. All right, let's just open this up first and see what's in there, and then we'll have to figure out how we're going to handle the inventory. Uh, because my bike is completely full, too, that I think I might have one or two things in here that we can um, put in there, but let's just see. We'll open this first, and then we might have to make a couple of executive decisions. Yeah, this place is nuts, though. I wonder if this is a Tier 5 quest. Well, it's probably not a Tier 5, but it could be a Tier 4. I knew I was in trouble, though, when I... Oh, my goodness, look at that. I knew I was in trouble when I saw the irradiated biker zombie. <laughs> it's like, okay, we're in trouble. All right, so these we can scrap. Uh, that we can scrap. Uh, we can actually scrap that now, because we already have baton parts where oh no that's machine gun parts okay so this pistol is 42 range damage it does not look like it's as good as no it's actually I think it's better than our, our current blue pistol yeah it is okay cool so we got ourselves a nice upgraded pistol um that will scrap so I base I want all of this stuff. So basically, I need to f f come up with six slots. Okay, let's sell stuff to him. We're going to sell that. Okay, so what do you have? You got a silencer mod, wasteland treasures. We already know that. Fireman's almanac, military gloves. Yep, not really anything here in the secret stash. Let's look in the normal. There we go. That's what we need. Um, and yeah, that actually that'll get us everything we need for upgrading upgrading the base, and then have some left over for uh, for repairs. Volume three, footwear featured. Okay, let's buy that just so that we have it for the accomplishment or i mean getting the getting all the things for the bonus 
Okay, cool. So how much is all of this going to cost us? Oh, you know, we can afford that. We can absolutely afford that. Okay, awesome, guys. So we should have all the steel we need to upgrade the three hatches in the base to level three and also upgrade the, uh, you know, the poles in front of where I stand. We probably won't have very much left over after that, so we still should probably... All right, now that we're done, that we're done doing business, get out of my store. Uh, we should still probably try and obtain a little bit more steel so we have enough for repairs. But we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Okay. Let's take a look in here. Uh, we'll buy some more sham, some more chili, eye candy. We'll leave the rest there. Now, no point in doing jailbreakers when you have the ability to make, you know, a, a full stack of lockpicks. That might take a little longer to open something, but I just don't see the point. I, and honestly, I kind of think the jailbreakers are, is a little OP anyway. Okay, let's see what Trader Jen has for us. I knew you had it in you. Good work. <sighs> yellow steel boots, 97 sixers, or a yellow hunting rifle. We have a yellow hunting rifle, and it looks like ours is better by five points, in fact. However, this sells for 412. Oh, geez, those sell for 825. I think that's what we're going to get. 6750 XP and 2100 Dukes. All right. Jobs. Fetch and clear. Let's take I've that. I've got a bit of a problem. Can you help me? Oh, I would kiss you, but, um, you know, apocalypse hygiene and all. Apocalypse hygiene and all, yeah. That's what all the girls say to me. <laughs> um, okay, so... I want this, <clears throat> excuse me, for fish tacos. This is actually good, too, because you need it to make the learning elixir, but I don't have any space, so... We're just going to go with that. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And in the next episode, we're going to do some upgrading on the base. That's going to be the main goal. And then, you know, depending upon how long that takes, we will do the next thing after that, which might be another quest. Uh, it is day 31, so we have four days left until the next horde. So, all right, that's it. See you next time. Bye-bye.